Umar wrote a very important note to Sa'id ibn Abi Uqas. He wrote to him, I command you and your soldiers to observe taqwa, for it is the best preparation against the enemy. And the best weapon, the strongest weapon that you can ever, ever own against the enemy. In other words, it's not military power. It's not manhood. It's not technology. It's not the number that wins your battle. Wallahi, it is not. It is taqwa that wins your battle. It is taqwa. Then he completed on his note and saying, And I command you and your army to be more on guard against sin than against your army. In other words, do not fear your army, fear your own sin. If you do not commit sin and you fear Allah Ta'ala, you have won. The battle is already won. The battle is already won as long as you fear Allah Ta'ala and you apply taqwa. And then he said, their numbers is greater than our numbers. Their preparation is much stronger than our preparation. If we equal them in sin, they will indefinitely destroy us through their physical power. If we do not apply taqwa, we will never ever be successful. If we want Allah's assistance, aid and support. And you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the battles, He supports His believers with angels and angels and angels. But with one condition, it is conditional upon taqwa. In tasbiru, wa tattaku, wa ya'tukum min fawrihim, hadha yumditukum rabbukum bi khamsati alafin min al-malaika musawimin. If you fear Allah Ta'ala and have patience, and the enemy comes rushing at you, rushing towards you in full combat, in intense fighting, Allah Ta'ala, as long as you have taqwa, will send upon you angels and angels and angels, 5,000 angels. Look at the battle of Badr. When the devil took the picture of whom? Iblis took the picture of whom? Took the picture of Suraka to Ibn Malik. When Suraka was shaking the hands of one of the pagan leaguers, now, the battle was about to start. Combat was just about to start. You got the pagans here, the Muslims here, and still, Suraka, who is really the Iblis, was shaking the hands and encouraging the disbelievers, the pagans, to fight the Muslims because he knows that they're going to lose. So he wanted all of them to die on paganism, on kufr. So he encouraged them to fight because he knows they're going to die on that belief. And he did not leave them until he saw something which the pagans nor the Muslims saw when he was shaking the hand of the leader of the pagans. He suddenly, started, he suddenly released his hand from the pagan leader and withdrew himself. The leader said, where are you going? What are you running away for? He goes, Inni ara ma la tarawn. Inni akhafu Allah rabbil alameen. He goes, I see what you do not see. He saw the angels descending. I see what you do not see. Indeed, I fear the Almighty Lord, the Lord of mankind. Allah Ta'ala bestowed upon the Muslim army angels and angels and angels. How did they win the fight? Not because of their manpower, not because of their artillery, not because of anything except taqwa. Allah Ta'ala aided them in this battle with angels flourishing because they had taqwa in their hearts which today we are lacking. And we are humiliated. We are backwards. We are weak because the Muslims today taqwa is not there no more. Taqwa is not there no more. In Bosnia some brothers were fighting this is the reality. We knew that taqwa. Wallahi Allah wager. In Bosnia. 1992. 93. 94. Only 10 years ago. Brothers were in a trench. Three brothers. Only three brothers. From the west. Inshallah today they're all shuhada. One they were in the trench. The Serbs surrounded them. With full power. Weapons.
weapons against them. Tell us, three guys against an uh, ambush consisting of Serbs. They threw their guns down. Tell us. We might as well say, La ilaha illallah, we're going to die. They started saying, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. The voice raised, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. Oh, in a sudden, the Serbs' artillery dropped and they vanished. This is a true, authentic, genuine story. The Serbs vanished. They got a hold of one of the Serbs. They asked him, Why did you run away for? You, know, you had us. You had us captured. Khalas. You could have killed us. We were only three, they said. He said, You were only three? We saw men coming out of that trench on horseback with turbans. And we ran for our life. هذا يمددكم ربكم بخمسة آلاف من الملائكة مصومين. In Afghanistan. And the holy battle in Afghanistan. Allah Akbar. A jihad and a half. Like no other. Like no other. Allahumma rizik al-Muslimin jami'an shahada. One of the brothers went over a mine. Over a mine. He's standing with his uh, Klishenkov. What a beautiful image, huh? Klishenkov, beard, army, <laughs> And half of his body vanished. True, authentic story. Half of his body vanished. He was standing there with his Klishenkov, uh, smiling, looking towards the sky and saying, to his brothers, Look, look. He said, what? And I was shocked. This person, I'm going to have a body. Look, look. I said, look at what? Because can't you see the, can't you the angels? And he fell and dropped it. Did not even know he had a half a body on him. That's from Taqwa. And many other stories that relate to these incidents. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Abdullah ibn Rawaha, who said in the battle of Mutta, what did he say? He said, by the Almighty Lord, we do not fight the people. With the number of soldiers are in preparation, no. We do not fight the people with the number of soldiers and preparations. He said, we fight the people with this deen, with this faith, with this heart that the Almighty Lord has honored us with. The heart that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored them with, which is faith. They did not fight with their weapons. They fought with their heart, believing that the Almighty Lord will indefinitely help them. Why? Because He promised this to the believers. In Tasbiru, what a taku. Wa yatukum min fawrihim. Hada yumdidkum rabbukum bi khamsati alafin min al malaikati musawamin. Allah is all truthful. When He says something, He will do it. He is your just. Wallahi, you be with Allah Ta'ala and you will never lose. You be with Allah Ta'ala, lay your heart. Be with Allah, love Allah. Eat. Dream, sleep, work, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in front of you, you can never lose. Not for a single second leave Allah from your heart. Not for a single second. Because that second that you leave Allah from your heart, you might die. And it's better for you to die while you're thinking of Allah ta'ala because the best thing for a Muslim when he leaves his fault is how? When he's thinking of the Almighty Lord. Where is the people of today, Taqwa? Where's the taqwa today? Their taqwa today is where? Where? At work? Building houses? Going to those fabricated cheaters of Iskan and other so-called Islamic banking? Who are stealing the people? Deceiving the people? Where's taqwa? Taqwa is not having a huge house. 
Taqwa is not having a nice home. Taqwa is not having nice clothes. 